Welcome everyone, the first app to blow up pictures on iPhone 15 Pro Max is I want you to open up the picture in question and then I want you to tap on where it says edit and let's have a look here if you see this portrait icon then we can do a blur automatically slide the depth all the way so that the F is on the lowest value. So in this case, 1.4. And make sure that you see this focus is set to the center of the foreground. Now you can see the background has been blurred automatically. Very precise background blur. You can also change the lighting by tapping on this lighting icon here. Then you can slide across if you would like to change the lighting. The issue with this is this only works if you took pictures on the iPhone 15 Pro Max itself. If you did not, then you won't be able to do the blur. So what you will need to do instead is you will need to long press your foreground and then release. You would then need to tap on share and then save image. Once we have done this, we have an image without the background and an image with the background. So what we're going to do is we're now going to get this app from the app store. It's called blur photo. You can just search blur photo and it should come up at the top and we'll need to close out of this this is a free app so we'll close out the premium and then we're going to tap on blur and i want you to import the original photo which you had no background blur so this one here and then we'll tap on done and so you're just going to use two fingers and pinch to zoom out and then with one finger, just go over the entire image. So everything should be blurred. And under effects, you can change the strength of the blur if you would like to as well. Then we're going to tap on next, share, OK. And now what we have is a blurred photo and the foreground which is unblurred if you wanted the whole thing blurred great that's done but if we want to have the foreground unblurred and the background blurred then once we have these two images we need to combine them to combine them we now need to get a second app it's called fonto and this is also completely free to get. So I'm going to install this one quickly. And once we have the Fonto app installed, open the Fonto. And in here, we're going to tap on the camera, photo albums, and we'll allow access to photos. And we're going to first import the fully blurred image. We are then going to tap on the triple lines and then add image. And we're going to add the foreground, which is unblurred. Now we're going to enlarge the foreground by tapping size and just increase it so it is right on top of the background. So we'll just put it like this size this up correctly and this may take a little bit of time to do but uh, that looks good enough for me if you want to nudge the uh, the picture you can tap on move and then just slightly move the image and uh, once you're happy with your final result tap on share save image okay 
And there'll be an ad, you can just go home. And so we have, there we go, the foreground is here and the background is blurred. Now, is this as perfect as with the native, you know, Apple feature? Oh, you know, it's, it's, it's quite close, but you can kind of tell there's a little outline where the, uh, the foreground and the background are. Maybe that's okay with you. If it's not okay with you, I mean, it's not like you have a choice, to be honest, but you can tell it's still pretty good regardless. And with that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.